feast of the Passover was about to begin. Jesus knew that it was his time to return to the Father in heaven. Jesus loved his disciples a lot. It was at this time that Jesus and the disciples had gathered together for the Passover meal. Jesus took a towel and he wrapped it around them. Then he grabbed a bowl of water and began to wash the disciples' feet. He came to Peter, and Peter looked at him and said, Jesus, are you going to wash my feet? You do not know what I'm doing, Peter, but later you will. Lord, never shall you wash my feet. Peter, if I do not wash your feet, then you cannot be my disciple. Well, Jesus, don't only wash my feet. Wash my hands and my arms, too. After Jesus had washed Peter's feet, he got up and began to speak to them. All of you are my disciples. But one of you, one of you is the devil. All of the disciples were confused and wondered who it was that Jesus spoke of. Jesus was speaking of Judas Iscariot because he knew that he was going to betray him. Peter leaned over close to Jesus and asked, Who are you talking about? Jesus said to him, the one who I passed the bread to. Okay. After Jesus gave the bread to Judas, he then told Judas to go and betray him. Then he went off to pray by himself to God. Lord, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. But not of my will, Father, for your will to be done. Jesus then came back to his disciples and said to them, Get up! Can you not stay awake? Behold, those that have come to kill me are already here. Judas, who was one of Jesus' twelve disciples, came and told the Romans who Jesus was. Whom do you seek? Jesus of Nazareth. I am he. They all fell back. Who is it that you are looking for? Jesus of Nazareth. I have already told you that I am he. The Romans then took Jesus and carried him away. After this, the guards left with Jesus, and all his disciples ran away. Peter then took his sword and attacked the guard and cut off his Ah, Peter! Do you know that those who live by the sword will die by the sword? Just as Jesus said, all of his disciples deserted him. The Romans then brought Jesus before the high priest. The high priest was a man named Caiaphas. Peter followed the Romans to the temple courts, but hid himself because he was afraid. Now the chief priest and the whole council kept trying to say false things against Jesus, so that they might put him to death. They didn't find any, even though many people were saying things that were not true about him. 
Are we really to eat of your flesh and drink of your blood? Are we to disregard all of the laws and traditions handed down from us, from Moses? I spoke openly every day in the temple. I hid nothing that I said. Why do you question me? Question those that heard me. They know what I said. One of the Pharisees slapped Jesus on the face. Is that any way to speak to a high priest? If I've said anything wrong, then tell me the wrong I've said. But if what I say was true, why do you hit me? Tell us plainly, are you the Christ? Are you the blessed one? I am. And you'll soon see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of God. Blasphemy! Coming out of the clouds of heaven. Blasphemy! What more proof do we need? He deserves to die. Then they took him before Pilate so that they could have Jesus put to death. Pilate began to question him. Are you the king of the Jews? Are you asking me because you want to know? Or is it because some, it's something that you have heard? I am not a Jew. Your people brought you to me. My kingdom is not of this world. If it was of this world, my angels would come down and fight for me. So you are a king. Jesus said nothing. I see nothing wrong with this man. It is your custom that I release one, one person a year. Do you want me to release the king of the Jews? Away with him. Away with him. We have no king but Caesar. What has he done? We have a law, and through that law, he made himself to be the son of God. He deserves to die. At this, Pilate was very afraid, for he did not want to condemn Jesus, but instead, he wanted to release him. But because of the crowd and their yelling, Crucify him! Crucify him! Pilate handed off Jesus to be crucified, for he feared a riot was coming. Jesus is first tortured and then taken to be crucified. Ah! began to mock him. If you're really the son of God, then come down from that cross and save yourself. <laughs> <laughs> when the sixth hour came, darkness fell over the whole land until the ninth hour. Jesus cried 
with a loud cry and breathed his last breath and then died. It was at this moment that the curtains of the temple completely tore in two. The soldier who was standing by said, Truly, this man was the Son of God. Then they took Jesus' body down off the cross and brought him to a nearby tomb. Well, I hope you enjoyed the skit. We really enjoyed putting it together for y'all. Um, and stay tuned next week when we will have the resurrection skit. Hope to see you there.